So here we are on our way to Boone, North Carolina. I'll be teaching a workshop at Chief Joe's there. This is almost 2,200 miles away from my home in Portland, Oregon. And I couldn't be more excited. I've done a lot of things in my life. I've had a lot of careers. But I truly believe that everything I've ever done has been preparing me for this moment. I love to share. I love painting and art. I, I think I got that from my mom. When I was a little boy, she used to sit down with me with some scratch pieces of paper and we would play a drawing game. She'd make a little scribble on a piece of paper and challenge me to make something from it. And then I would, and then I'd make a little scribble on a piece of paper and hand it to her and she would do an amazing drawing of some kind or other. But it really inspired me. She gave me the love of art. So they named it after Ward Bond who had a TV show back in those days called Wagon Train, but you might remember him as Bert the Cop in It's a Wonderful Life. And I actually have a picture somewhere, a real black and white, actually signed by, because movie stars did this in the old days, signed by Ward Bond, said to little Ward, good luck, Ward Bond. So my friends back home in Portland, when I first started on this journey, named my RV the Paintmobile. And I really did take a leap of faith I sold a business that I had for many, many years and liquidated nearly all of my belongings. And I moved into this 21-foot mini Winnebago and set off across the country on this journey that really culminates here in Boone. And while I've tried to meet with different art groups along the way and painting groups and organizations, uh, and it's been really my goal to, to meet people and to paint a lot of different places, getting here to Boone was the primary focus of my journey. And the fun part is I'm only halfway there because now I get to turn around and go back home again. This has been such a wonderful journey and oh my gosh, I have met some of the most <laughs> interesting people you can possibly imagine. Uh, and I've learned a lot from them. And you know, you hear a lot nowadays about how divided our country is. And there's a lot of truth to that. But I'm here to tell you, there are extraordinary people all over this beautiful country of ours. And they are loving and kind and willing to help a stranger out. One of my big messages in life is, and I hear this so often, you know, that people are born with some kind of gift. Like you have to be born special to be an artist. And I'm here to tell you, it's just not true. Passion, tenacity over talent every time. But if you have a love for drawing or music or anything, and you simply put your heart into it, you will soar and be amazing. I had a really amazing experience when I was very young. I, I was a figure skater, I was a roller figure skater, and I went out and I got in this competition and decided to try something that was way over my head and I had to be carried off of the floor. It was the most humiliating thing that ever happened to me and one of the greatest gifts I'll ever get because I think ever since that moment, I haven't been afraid to fail at anything. And I've also realized that everybody, no matter what it is, all the best, the best race car drivers, the best you know, rock stars, the most amazing politicians, everybody started somewhere. We all wobbled, we all fell, but we picked ourselves back up, we paid our dues, and we got better at it. So in my life, because maybe of that event, not being afraid to fail. I've tried and tried and tried at so many things. I, I was a figure skater, a professional dancer. I'm a published photographer. I was a hairdresser for 40 years. You know, the funny thing about all the stuff that I've done is they're all more related than you might imagine. I really do strongly believe that we are a sum or culmination of all of our experiences. So when I'm painting, I mean, my brush might move like a figure skater with gentle and gracious arcs and understand the bend of a curve. Or, you know, when you need to be bold and put color in, it might be like that short time I spent boxing, although boxing hurts. Boone Town Limit right there. Here we are in Boone, North Carolina. I made it 2,200 miles from home. And I finally made it to Boone, North Carolina, the home of Cheap Joe's. This culmination of my journey is coming, not to an end, 
but to a great beginning. I'm so excited to be here. I am very humbled to think how many amazing artists have driven this very road to get to this place. I know some of my great friends and mentors and teachers have been here and I, I can't even tell you what a privilege it is to be following in their footsteps. And there are few places in the entire world that bring people together, especially in the arts community, like Joe Miller and all the amazing good people down at Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. up the street. I've gotten so many packages from this, this, this destination, from this address. In the past. I feel like I know it. There's a the sign, Cheap Joe's Art Stuff, Corporate Headquarters, Outlet Store, and a really fun place. Good job, Paintmobile. So hopefully you're enjoying this video and all the things that I've shared. If you want to know more about me, you want more information on Brusho, the crystal powder paints or Cheap Joe stuff, uh, my website is www.artofward.com. Anytime you want to get a hold of me, you drop an email or just say hi or make a friend, I'd love to hear from you. And I hope you keep on painting. Keep believing in yourselves and just know that we are all precious gifts.